Okay, so this is how to copy a mask to save yourself some time in After Effects. So normally, I'm not cutting holes the same shape in After Effects, uh, but today I am. So I have to cut all of these out and make masks. So I was just fooling around and I actually didn't realize you could copy masks um, because again, usually I'm not cutting out the same shape, but we can. So let's go, I'm gonna take, they're pretty much all the same. I'm just going to select all of these. So that's mask seven, that's eight. And this one is what? It's up high. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so we're gonna select that one and that one. I'm just holding down control and left clicking these layers. So I've selected these three. Um, okay, so just go up to the top, edit and copy. And then I want to select the main layer. Uh, so these go away and then edit and paste. So they're all down here. Now, the only knock I can see on this is that they are all orange. So you might want to go in there and change the colors if you want to target the mask. So you can just click these here. Uh, just hit click the orange square and change it to blue. So it's a little easier later on if you want to target the layer. Um, but besides that, it's pretty cool. Um, so let's select, let's change this one too, to yellow. And now let's grab all these. I'm just going to, this one's already selected. So I'm going to move uh, my mouse down to mask 11 and hold down the shift button and it will grab all these. And I'm just going to left click and bring up these three masks up here. So this is going to save me a lot of time. So my next step is I want to select all of these. So if I do this, and shift click all of these and I'm going to go to edit copy and just click the main layer so these get deselected and edit paste and now I should I'm just going to hold down the space bar and go up and I grab all these new masks uh, I only need to vote there let's zoom in here I just uh, I've got a scroll wheel on my mouse. So let's just line these up. And I may have to tweak these just a bit. I'm going to click off of them. And let's see, can I rotate these? I'm going to double click and I'm just going to move these just a bit. I may have to, yeah, individually fix these. I'm going to double click this and just there. I'm going to grab in the middle here, left click it and tweak it just a bit. Um, this one is off as well. And now this machine is on an angle, so it makes it a little tougher. Uh, but if I can nail this one, this will be the new one that I copy. So I guess it's worth the time to spend. Uh, that looks pretty bang on. This is a stonemaker machine, by the way, and I've cut out the background, some of it already but it's these mesh things that take forever uh, time-wise. So let's see, what are you? You're 12. Um, let's just double check that that's the one. And I just double clicked it there. Actually, let's get off that. Let's go back to composition. What did I get into? The Oh, here it is up here. So this is the layer um, where I'm just looking, almost like soloing the layer, which you can do from down here as well, but then let's go back to the composition and we are going to just select this. Uh, we're down there, mass 12. I'm gonna change the color just to make it easier. We'll go to pink. Okay, now we're just gonna do the same thing. We're going to select it, copy, uh, deselect. Let's try actually not deselecting and saying paste. Nothing happened. See, I tried this before and didn't work. The trick is to actually deselect it by hitting the main layer and then going paste. And then, hooray! We have the new one. Maybe I'll just change the color. Just a, just a little bit different. And we now can just uh, grab. I have a feeling this is just going to move the... Oh, good. 
Now you can move the whole mask or you can, and you can also like individually move these little pieces to, I'm just control Z, control Z. Um, all right, now I have two layers. I have this one, now it's way up there. Let's just, can, let's, can we move that down there? There we go, we just shifted it. So these two are together. I'm gonna shift click and then left click it to grab them both, copy, pull back a bit. And like I said, just click this layer to deselect the other ones and paste. So this is a good way to save some time on this because it took me a while in the last video. Um, okay, so the angle's off, oops, go back to composition. Uh, the angle's off just a bit and you can change these after the fact, any of these to your liking. Okay, and we have what? Three more up there. Okay, so let's grab, uh, let's see which one's here. All right, let's just grab, I don't know, all of these four. I'm not sure which ones are which. I'll maybe grab all four of them and just go copy. Hit the main layer and paste. And actually just move them over. So as you can see, this could save a lot of time for someone. I don't get a lot of projects where I actually have the same shape, but this is one. And you then can, oh, they're all selected at once. Um, let's click off. I'm just clicking over here. And I just want to move this one up. There we go. Same with this one. I'm just going to double click, move up. So I should be able to do this pretty darn quick compared to the last one where I cut them out individually. Have to do the same thing over here and I will just use this technique to, I bet you I could do it in half the time, less than half the time. Um, and again, if you, this big chunk here, this stuff's easy. It's the repetitive stuff that takes you forever. We're gonna click here, like this stuff's, woo! I lost it there for a sec and uh, I'll just show you how to quickly do this. You probably already know how to do these big shapes and you add and subtract. You can watch my last video where I worked on a, the Stonemaker picture. This is my third one of the bunch. I'm just gonna quickly cut this out and you can always change the mask after the fact. Uh, fact. Um, but this new copying thing hmm, could become come in handy. And I wanna do a video not just for you guys, because I'm hoping I can help someone out. Uh, you know, give you some extra time in your life. <laughs> um, but even for myself, I forget some of these little After Effect uh, rules and tricks. Now, see, it hasn't disappeared. I'm just gonna go to the bottom here. And as you can see, it says subtract for the rest of them. And I'm just gonna say subtract and boom, it's gone. And then whatever's behind it will be shown. So I just have to do this part here. I have to do those there. Uh, there's the ground too. I'll just here, I'll quickly do this. Um, so we're just gonna click here there boom 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 oh that's a shape layer this happens all the time it's a bit annoying so it made a shape layer I maybe didn't have this selected this layer I'm always getting those darn shape layers going and I actually used a shape layer for the first time uh, the other day so now I could wait for the uh, I could do it now I could go subtract and you know this thing the trick is just to speed up the work so it looks like i've already done some and i haven't cut them out so let's go subtract the first layer you always do add um, the way i do it anyways how's this so that's been cut out everything's cut out what else do you see anything else guys anything um like little stuff's fine so in the other video i showed you how to do a shadow mask this the, i don't i'm not going to touch that it's like the same color anyways. Um, now I guess I could do the same technique over here and we'll just do this quickly again to see how fast I can get. All right, so now I guess you spend the time on the first one. That was a little wonky there. I'll change that in a sec. Um, so let's see how fast. For, spend the time on the first one and let's just grab this, move it out a bit and now let's see how fast I can get. Um, 
Okay, I'm going to highlight it and probably just go to copy. All right, and now we just want to hit this and hit edit, paste, and now I can grab that up. Okay, now I have two. Now I wonder if I can, can I grab these? No, okay, that didn't work. I was just going to shift sort of a, a bounding box it, if you know what I mean. But we're just going to grab these two. And go copy. Let's see how fast we can do this off of it. And now is it not, it probably has to be selected here. I'm assuming. I wonder if there's a quick way to select this. Uh, all right. And edit. Paste. And now we've got four. Okay. Let's try. How much more do we have to go? Okay. Let's grab all four of these. I'm going to try to speed things up here. Mass 27 through mass 30. Edit. Copy. And make sure the main layer is selected. And edit. Now I could do, I'm going to start trying to do the hotkey. So I'm going to go control V. And all right, now I should have these four. I have it on auto save, which is very important. Uh oh, okay, let's grab these bottom four. Uh, to do, do shift click it. And now we should, there we go. We have the four above that. Hooray, hooray. Are, are they pretty close? See, I can always fine tune them after the fact. Like we can go in, but see the angle changes a little bit. You know, why don't we just go control V again? What happened there? Did I lose them? Oh, that was control Z. I'll go to control shift Z, put them back. Did that work? Edit, um, undo paste. Hmm, that's odd. All right, so let's grab these bottom four. Edit, copy. I have an idea here. Click off of it. Main layer. Paste. Okay, so let's grab these. Hey, let's grab these bottom four, these new ones. One, two, three, four. And let's move them. All right. So we've got those. Now let's just go off of it, hit the main layer and go edit paste again. And it will put, so see now we've got, this is probably the fastest way to do it, um, is just keep pasting and then putting them in. The only problem is the camera angles off on these. So I probably want to do it, but that's a really fast way to do it. Um, and then you would just, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, that one's off a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so we'll grab the bottom eight layers and we will from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, shift click them. And we can probably just move these over and the, see the problem is, is the angles off. So they start to get a little bit off. Um, so you have to individually go in there, just double click, move in, um, double click, move in. Now in the last video, I showed you that you could, um, also like feather the masks, expand the masks to make this work. But I think this copying and pasting system is really going to speed up, especially this job. I don't know if it's going to help me in other jobs. Um, but this is, uh, going to be effective. Um, anyways, guys, if you have any questions about After Effects, please comment below and check out stonemaker.ca. These guys make amazing machines where you can make your own bricks and tiles for like, I'm not sure what the cost is, a small portion of the cost of actually going into a Home Depot and buying these rocks yourself. And you don't actually have to drive to a Home Depot if there's not one close. Um, and you just use sand and cement from your own property. And you can, you can haul this thing behind your truck. Uh, there's also a huge version uh, as well. Uh, but these ones are the ones that sell the most. And we sell these all over the, not myself personally. I do, uh, I do marketing advertising uh, for lots of different companies. But uh, my job is just to uh, help get the word out about the machines. Uh, but yeah, they sell all, all over the world. Um, anyways, guys, hopefully this helps someone. Please comment below, like the video, hit that 
subscribe button and that bell if you like After Effects and Photoshop and all the Adobe Creative Suite stuff. I'm totally into that stuff. I do a lot of work in that, that uh, suite. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later, guys. Cheers. Bye.